think it's very important for him because in 20 years time I don't know what sort of world we're going to be living in and um, it felt very important for me to come here today and, and, and be part of the actions on the streets to say uh -huh. I am on a legal demonstration that uh -huh. is at the moment entirely peaceful so I have no reason to be afraid because I am doing absolutely nothing wrong. This is my legal right. We're helping the police because we, we get overwhelmed by the crowd. So we're helping them. We must build up a strong international movement to save the environment against the greed of profit. And I will give my part, my influence, that this is successful. It's very important to unite the workers' class movement and the environmental movement. And this is not the present status. We must do just a lot of strong work to reach this goal. Uh, workers have the power to organize a strike, general strike, blockades, and if you want an uh, international movement that is strong enough to force the imperialistic government and the ruling monopolist companies in the world, you cannot do it without the power of the working class. We must build up the movement in the process. I'm Sure, uh, it's not done in one year, we, we will need some years more, but we'll do it and we'll be successful. My plan for today is to stay part of the group, to stay peaceful, keep people calm, keep people moving. I'm proud to be here to stand up for what is right, what is just. And I think the key is to keep thinking, keep being intelligent about what's happening, uh, and keep on that non-violent course. understand that some people want to make profit and profit about anything but it's their own life you know their children their... well it's amazing how far capitalism can go on and and destroy everything even itself <laughs> 90 percent of what food, the food produced is produced is produced by small farmers you know and uh, small farmers don't cook don't uh, cook together and uh, exchanges uh, biofuel industrial factory for pigs, chicken and so on are very very uh, dreadful they have written everything but we have the solution we are part of the solution uh -huh. yes. what do you say to the farmers to mobilize them to uh, take part in the, such a protest well i say that be proud of your job be proud of what you are uh, uh, living for because you are the, the hopes of the whole world you know and even if it's very difficult to be farmers in, uh, in Europe and in uh, all over the world, we are the, we have the real power because we feed the world, we produce food, and everyone has to eat every day. So, well, yes, I would say uh, uh, globalist uh, struggle and globalist hope. I hope some politicians will go out and join uh, the social movement. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm, I hope that the police will be a bit all right. You know, they they were not really nice the whole week. So it's a lot of injustice going on. The market will fix the climate. And these hungry children, what about them? 
The market will fix the climate, that's all but I have to say. But they're like it. The market will fix the climate. We only care about profit. We don't care about people. Why not? That's all we say. Because but when would be no we people? Care about when would be no people, there would be no profit also. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, um, our most serious concern. We are trying to make people go home. Uh, we are lobbyists for profitable climate solutions and we want them to know that uh, what happens in the Bella Centre will not be a problem to any of us rich people. They shall not worry, they can go home. Nothing's going to happen in the Bella Centre. Uh, we will still be rich, the poor will still be poor. No one has to do anything about the way they live. So we don't don't go go home, people. There's no need for you. So we are trying to make the police uh, make them go home as well. Uh, you see, did you pay them a lot? Uh, did you pay them a lot? The police? Yeah. Unfortunately, but well, I haven't tried yet. But I have a lot of money. That's a uh -huh, good one. Okay. <laughs> have you seen anyone that might be? Would you pay them to use the balance? To, to use protect the balance. Well. Anything that protects money. Uh -huh. Anything, Anything that protects money. There's a great optimistic um, feeling about this demonstration, so well, I think it's going to be very good. Uh, no matter what happens, I think it's going to be a great uh, point made. <laughs> The alternative is right here on the streets. The way the protests are organized and also these, all these experiences from people from all over the world who have already started to organize themselves, who really have good experiences with self-organizing. This is, this is what we are looking for and this is the only solution. I mean, it's not the starting of, of something, but it's a huge step and the fact that the failure of the official negotiations become more and more obvious. And the fact that even government delegations and official delegates from the conference gave up their hope in the official process as well and are joining us and we will hold assembly on the street. This is definitely a historic moment. It's more, it goes even more beyond than, than all the protests um, and blockades of official conferences such as um, IMF, World Bank and G8 and whatever we saw in the last years. Because we are sh clearly showing the alternatives. We are practicing a real democracy that goes far beyond. I'm afraid about my future, about our own future. I mean, I mean, what what can they do? They can beat us, they can shoot us tear gas, they can arrest us. But if we don't act, um, future will be what, what we can expect will be much worse. The hope that um, more and more people starting to to see that the solution is in solidarity, that um, that is not up to the lead, so-called leaders to to rule us and to, to propose changes, but that it has become become from below, from us, and that more and more people is going to join us.